Hi everyone, welcome to another um, little session from this lovely page from Rooms of Wonder. Um, today I think we're actually going to start with the crown and then we'll do the pineapple and see whether we have time to do the flowers and the, or not. We'll see how it goes. So I am actually going to do the crown in the gold colour that we used for the ring down here because I think it worked quite well. I was considering doing brown, but um, brown? No, silver. <laughs> Sorry. But the silvers are quite brown, that's where the brown, my brain's working faster than my mouth, as always. The, the greys are quite brown, so I don't think it's going to work. So let's go ahead and do a gold crown. It's going to start as we did with the Inca gold and work along where we think it will be darkest. So along the edge here going to put a little bit in between each section like that. Uh, I'm going to do that underneath though, as if this bit's a little bit raised. I think that's probably a gemstone. So we'll leave that. Right, now we have this base part. I'm going to do a bit in there. I'm going to need a little bit here, but I want to try and make it fainter. I don't think I've been very successful in doing that. So let's try and darken that bit up instead. Maybe that worked and extend it a bit beyond that one. <clears throat> there we go. I think we used the saffron our next one. There it is. It's very, very hard to read. So we're going to extend this colour into these sections more. Now I've got a third colour to use, but I want to leave some white. So it's worth bearing that in mind as you go, thinking about how much space have I got? Where am I leaving? Um, where am I going to leave it white, etc. Um, I hope everyone's well today. Uh, it's actually Friday recording this. I don't know what day it's going out. I haven't done the calculations to work out. I'm going to do this bit as well a little bit. Um, I think I'll do that bit darker. I don't know why. Um, it's, yeah, it's Friday afternoon. I'm having a lovely relaxing time making some videos. And my children, that is Mimosa, have gone off to college. It's their second day back after Christmas. It's um, actually the uh, 6th of January. And uh, so it's, I'm just getting used to being on my own. I had a whole day on my own yesterday and I had... I wrote myself a huge to-do list so that I didn't get lonely. I, mean, I don't get lonely as such. I just It's nice to have people around, you know. I'm just extending my gold into all areas now, but making sure that I leave a little bit of white so that it looks shiny. But, um, yeah, so I had a big to-do list, so I kept myself busy. I did make a few videos, editing, um, other bits and pieces, did some my accounts exciting <laughs> and lots of other things to keep myself occupied but today they were home this morning so uh, I did make a few shorts videos actually but uh, I'm mainly doing a bit this afternoon right now we have our stones now our stone on our ring um, which you can see here we did in a very bright purple um, I want a bright color again I'm going to pick something different I'm going to pick the tickle pink you can see it's quite an intense color which is what I want I'm going to do all of them the same just for ease and so it doesn't look so bitty I think sometimes when I use too many colors it looks a bit messy so I'm going to fade that towards the middle try and make it look like it's a shiny gemstone some people can use such a range of beautiful colors and get it spot on but I'm not blessed with that ability. There we go. So all of them just leaving 
a little lighter bit in the middle to try and make it look like it is shining. I like that little change purse. Can you see it there? It's uh, so cute. I remember having purses like that as a child and just sitting there wanting to click clack the little um, clasp. Click clack, click clack. I loved it. But uh, I <laughs> used to get on. Funnily enough, the adults found it quite annoying <laughs> after a while, so I had to stop. But uh, I used to love it. Sometimes I remember in the hingy bit down here, the fabric would all get caught up in it. I think my mum had a, a purse which actually had a clasp like that on it, or several growing up. I don't think you see them these days. I'm going to use a, some grey to try and do a little bit of a silvery effect, despite um, saying it didn't really show up, but I think this um, sort of setting for the stone and this one I think could do with a little bit of grey. I'm going to sharpen my pencil even though this isn't the right sharpener. I used the dowel to sharpen them all I think. It's nice. So yes, the winter berry. And for this one I'm just going to fade it up towards the top. The same here, just pop a bit down. It's quite difficult to see. I'm going to use quite a lot of layers on these little outside pieces and then on the main bit oop <laughs> fade it up I'm being impatient and pressing too hard there we go and down so we've got a little bit of shiny the side hopefully there we go they could try using some white pen to uh, to show the shine on the stones I'm not sure I'm going to worry about it to be honest right I want to get on with our pineapple now pineapples, the leaves tend to be a sort of bluey greeny colour, I think, and then the the main part sort of brown and yellow. I'm going to do the leaves in this. Um, I'm just wondering, it's the same colour I used for. Hmm, is it going to be too bright? No, I think it'd be. No, I'm going to use the bayberry, and we'll see how it looks. So I think the other colour I was thinking of would be too bright. Now we're not going to get the colour looking exactly like the pineapple leaves because they're a much darker shade of green than I have. If you're using conventional pencils you don't have the um, pastels. This is where you're at an advantage. You can grab a pine green, dark green, cobalt green, deep, something like that and get them looking dark. My aim here is just to get them a little more saturated in the centre where they would look darker because of all the shadow. Now if you want to really show shadow with pastel pencils you can grab a, a colour from a different set to just add in your shadows so I would suggest um, a dark sepia. Probably not a black, uh, maybe a Mars black but an actual black can look a little bit dirty. And also you can, some people, I was speaking to a colour pencil artist, she made her living um, doing colour pencil art, and she's amazing. She did drew and coloured, made cards and commissions and pictures and well. Anyway, she um, said, she teaches as well, and she said, in her class, one of her pupils liked using a um, dark berry. I'm trying to think of the colour name. It was a it was a Derwent Colour Soft pencil. Um, did blackberry might have been as their sh for their all their shadows. So that's quite. I thought that was quite unusual, but uh, an interesting at the same time. Of course, my husband ordered one of those pencils so he could practice. He's never used it. It somehow seems to have found its way into my colouring pencil box. I'm not sure how. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to use the apricot twist for part of the pineapple. Because I just don't have the right colours. Um, I think I'm going to do the central parts in this colour. Now you could 
try and shade them up a bit um, but we've got some lines drawn on by Johanna already which will create this sort of impression that that top bit's a bit darker but it's also because of the sort of if you think about a pineapple they have these sort of dark brown tufty bits which I think is what she tried to draw on there which is good we can just keep it nice and simple now I have done pineapples before where I coloured the this arched bit in a gold pen that was fun um, I think it was in Magical Jungle and uh, so that yeah look good I thought she says modestly look good <laughs> oh gotta have some um, some faith that your own work is nice sometimes haven't you it's so easy to see the faults and not focus on the uh, the positives okay so there is that bit and I think I want a slightly more yellowed colour um, what's this colour? Cream Rosa. Yeah, that's a sort of yellow, more yellowed colour, Cream Rosa. I think we've used, used it. Do we use it for that? Uh, hang on. Hmm. I think no. I used it for that bottle, which is right next to this, so better not do that. Um... Let's use something else. What's this? This might work. Yeah, let's use the candy tuft. Because it's more of a yellowy, more yellowy. Maybe it'll work better anyway. It's good because you can see it's a different colour. It's not massively different. So it ticks all the boxes for me anyway. colouring lots of different things. It's quite fun, isn't it? I've got a lot of that in this book where there's sort of random objects. Um, there's a page of 50 of them, isn't there, in the Lost Property Office. I don't know if this is supposed to be a bit like the Lost Property Office as well, but it's a little bit... Um, it's not next to that page, so I'm not sure. Right, we have these little flowers. I think we need to do those or else we might forget them. Um, I fancy doing a pink for those. We've got a really a pink here called Foxglove. I like the name. Foxglove, you may not see that. And I'm not going to colour the centre of the flowers the same colour as the petals. I'm going to try and fade it out a little bit towards the edge of the petals, but they're quite small, so I may not be achieving that look, or it, either that or it's hard to see. Probably the first, but hey, doesn't matter. So I like this because it's quite a different colour to the um, to everything around it. Now flower centres, I've got a little series of videos actually on how to colour flower centres. I ought to pop them into a play into a compilation for my members, but I don't think I have. Um, but um, I'm just going to do yellow today, which is the saffron that we used up here somewhere. It's not going to um, be too close. Layer it up a little bit so it shows up. There we go. And now our flower, um, our leaves, sorry. Um, what should we grab? I think the cow slip might work quite well. Again, I might try and fade them towards the ends, but they're so little that I think we'll struggle to see. We've got, we can do these gemstones I think. Um, finding colours for them is going to be interesting. I'm going to try and do them all different um, to each other. Um, we've done a purple one already, haven't we? We could do a slightly lighter, oops, a purple one, maybe. I don't normally do gemstones in light colours, but I'm going to have to be open-minded, aren't I? So the heather... In more intense here and then fade it up towards here 
like that. Do the same here, but I'm going to make quite a dark bit there and there, and then fade it up towards that corner. And the same here. I don't know why I'm choosing to do it that way. I just think it'll work. On the top, I'm actually going to do a dark layer there, and then fade it, and then just do another layer across there, as if it's really catching quite a lot of light on the top. These side ones I'm going to fade upwards. There we go. Now I was going to do one green, but that one's near quite a lot of green and orange. I think this one needs to be a more reddish shade. And we don't have red, but we do have carnation which is a, a sort of brownish, orangey, pink colour, which I'm going to use for this one. Now, with this piece here, this is facing us upwards, and I think it would be catching light. So again, I'm going to try and make it have quite a lot of white on it by just doing a couple of stripes like that. And then these darker on the bottom and fading upwards, because these would be the base and that would be the top. It's quite simple. Hopefully it sort of works. And this one, hmm, let's go for this blue. This is the Larkspur. I think that was the first one we used when we did our spaceship, which is now out of shot. Sometimes I find actually doing that angle didn't really work for me. This time I'm going to go against, so it doesn't line up with those lines. It's not parallel. So it goes like that. I don't know if that looks better. And this bit's the same, so it's just fading upwards a bit. Now, taking away the black lines can make them look more shiny. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to add white on this page. I don't know why. I've just sort of decided that I don't want to have white on this page. So uh, that's where I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, actually, I think that's where we're going to leave the colouring completely today. So we've done our third little section of the page, which was fun. So I hope that was okay. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.